Pivotal Goose on Reddit. Looking for a good chocolate porter recipe. How do I use chocolate in a porter? Yeah, man. That's it, it's a great question. Uh, first of all, uh, listen, September and June, you can slant, you you can you can slight Jamil all you want, um, but he will always have my love. He will always have my love. Um, but no, um, I would, and, and actually, what I would say is, it's probably right over here. I'll grab another. I'll grab a book again. Again, I, I've got a hunch that tons of people that are making robust porter in this country are just making the robust porter recipe out of this book because it is baller. Um, so ha have your have your base recipe, whatever you like. If, if you have your own, <laughs> if you have your own recipe that you like, great, run with it. If you don't have one, use Jamil's, uh, whatever. But what I would say is if, if you're taking a recipe that's just right for you, just the right bitterness, and I think that Robust Porter, if you're going really to style, potentially has a little bit more bitterness than you will want for it to be an adjunct beer. If I'm going to make an adjunct, so, you know, atypical ingredient chocolate coconut whatever 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 i want those beers to be a little sweeter because typically we're we're including dessert type flavors so what i would do is if i'm going to be making a chocolate porter and i have like a really classic version of the style i would consider backing down the ibu about five ibu that's just me i think that additional sweetness may help to push that adjunct character a little bit more I think the last thing you want to do is when you have something desserty is to be thumping it over the head with a two style level of bitterness, right? So consider that, think on it, do your own thing, but but consider that when you're going to be adjuncting, especially with a dessert type adjunct like chocolate. Now let's let's jump into some options with that. I, I think that um, I like to look at how many ways can I get chocolate flavor into something okay if because we're talking about chocolate in, in, in this instance obviously you can do that with malt you can do that with chocolate products you can do that with extract okay uh, i would like to try to create a range of those things so your options for chocolate i would like to remove as much fat from the equation when it comes to chocolate. So I would be looking for the lowest fat content products you can use. First option is um, chocolate powder, baking, you know, ch ch cocoa powder, right? Low, as low fat as you can go. That's one option. Another one is cocoa nibs, another option. And what else? Uh, and then also something like, like an extract, right? I think that playing with those and maybe layering those up could be fun. All right. And let me throw some suggestions at you. If you want to, uh, if you're going to use cocoa powder, I'm going to say that maybe you can think that you might pull not like an IBU bitterness out of that, but eat that stuff, man. And it's, it's, it's bitter stuff. Okay. Um, that stuff's not going to make your beer sweeter. So, so build that, build that into your mind. Consider adding uh, the, the powder on the hot side. OK, we can get some good uh, you can get some good incorporation. I've always considered a scenario where if I was going to do something with chocolate, maybe pulling off a volume of work out of the large kettle into a smaller kettle, um, putting a pretty large amount of cocoa powder into that and then essentially pasteurizing that temperature pasteurizing that and getting it well incorporated and then pushing it into the fermenter and then running cold word on top of it. So that way you get a chance to have a longer contact time with this hydrated, with this wort hydrated cocoa powder. Um, that's also kind of been heat pasteurized, but then you get that long contact time in the fermenter, right? So you get your contact time as well as maybe some, some work on the pasteurization side. When thinking about cocoa nibs, I really like cocoa nibs. Um, I would suggest maybe consider using cocoa nibs a little bit later in fermentation. Okay, so after alcohol is formed, after the pH drops, 
your beer is already a little bit more resilient as far as uh, against microbiological stuff. The last time I worked with nibs, though, I roasted them to kind of open up the, the flavor and aromatics of them a little bit. People do that, chefs do that with different whole spices and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, dude, let, let, let me give this a shot. So I, I did that. Smells great. It's a unique character and it's different than cocoa powder. So maybe you, you know, you can you can roast up some nibs and get them into your fermenter, either latent fermentation or post-fermentation after the beer is cold, something like that. And and taste your way through it. You know, maybe typically I do coffee for four days. So maybe start tasting after two, three, four days and saying seeing where that beer is with the nibs before before you take that off. And then if you're thinking, okay, I have the chocolate flavor where I want it. I have some nice depth there between the malt, the nibs, the cocoa powder, and you feel as if maybe the nose is a little bit down. Look for some nice chocolate extract. I would I would look up something like Apex Flavors. You can you can order directly from them. You can get a two ounce bottle. It lasts you for a very long time. But um, you can I, I've had some I've had some really nice extracts that I've worked with from them. So you know consider consider getting you know touching it up. Go with a light hand late. That would be on the packaging side, either in bottling bucket in the keg, go light with that because you just want that to be a slight enhancement aromatically, right? And then maybe the, maybe incorporating some of those techniques, you can, you can kind of put together that chocolate beer that just really pops. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.